I'll sleep tomorrow. I'll exercise next week. I'll start dating after I graduate. These are some of the ways that students postpone their mental health. One in 10 students meet criteria for depression. One in five in anxiety disorder. One in three significantly impairing stress. And 100% of students experience this issue at some level because that's university life. So what we need is effective prevention programming that can teach students skills to improve their daily life. But, of course, there are reasons why prioritizing our mental health is difficult. Busy schedules, stigma, a preference for figuring it out myself. So, how is my research overcoming these barriers? I'm building an online anxiety and depression prevention program that students can use when they want, where they want. Now, there are existing online programs that have proven effective in research studies, but those programs, they're poorly marketed, and so they aren't widely used by students, especially by male students. On the other side, we're increasingly seeing consumer apps and products which are more widely used, but we don't even know if they work because they haven't been researched. My program, it combines the engagement strategies and the skills from the research program along with the consumer-oriented marketing approach. So my program teaches skills week by week, interpersonal skills, mindfulness, physical exercise, and students log skills every time they practice. All of this is incentivized by things like weekly prize drawings, insights into stress and mood ratings, and customizable settings like email practice reminders. Now, I'm advertising the same program here under two different names on campuses. The Happiness Challenge and Reboot Camp. This is in order to investigate the impact of marketing on student enrollment. So, did Reboot Camp actually attract different students in the Happiness Challenge? Yes, the men especially those from the physical sciences. So exact same program is marketed, different names, different students sign up. Overall, more students were engaged filling those gaps of those other online programs. In terms of performance, my research studies show that the program completers have significantly improved anxiety and depression. 5,000 students have already tried this program, and I'm continuing to research how marketing incentives can reach more and more students because this knowledge could be applied to any mental health intervention. But shifting tone, at my college graduation, two seats were empty because two would-be 2012 grads had committed suicide before graduating. I like to imagine a world in which anxiety and depression are prevented before students get to that place. So this research isn't rocket science, but mental health is something that affects everyone on every day. And the more students we can engage in it, the better. Thank you.